And so to go along with what I was just talking about and finding those positive reminders and constantly having reinforcements of why what you're doing can succeed and how you can be successful. Um, here's a tip on how to pull yourself back into a positive mind state whenever negative thoughts start to creep in. I read this book a couple of years ago, like two or three. It was my senior year of college when I read it. It was called The Secret. And um, there was one part of it that really resonated with me. And it was the idea of having a memory bank or a positivity bank where whenever you have a negative thought or a disbelief thought or something that just puts you in a mind state that isn't positive or moving you forward, as opposed to thinking about that thing or meditating on that thing, which is a negative thought bringing negativity into your life, which leads to things you don't want, what you should do is think of something positive or have a memory bank that you draw from and think of one of those positive, positive things in that time. And you can have more than just one thought. Um, I believe it said have five to 10. I'm not 100% sure it's, it's been a little minute, but I know for me personally, I have a little memory bank that I hold on to for whenever I realize that I've been in a negative thought process for more than like five minutes, five, 10 minutes. Is, you have to think of the negative sometimes. You have to pull them out, figure out why they happen, break them down, and then learn from them. But to just dwell and sit in them as constant reminders that are just pulling you back, you can't do that because you can get caught in doing that too long and that's when your life starts taking bad turns. So for me, it was like, all right, I've been in a negative mind state just thinking about problems or a situation where I didn't do what I should have done or the outcome of something wasn't what I wanted. And I'm like, oh, you failed, you messed up. Why'd you do that? You're so dumb, ah. Oh. As opposed to thinking that, you should be like, you know what? I actually took a step into what I wanted to do. I can do this. Like one thing for me personally, I moved from Ohio to Washington about a year ago and started pursuing my acting career. And I was still in Ohio because I was scared to move somewhere else, but I took that step. And so I look back now, I'm like, wow, it's been a whole year. I've almost lived on my own in another state for a whole year. I have my own space. like. I did it and I've actually been casted in something. I have an agent. Whenever I start to think, oh, this acting thing isn't really picked up, I haven't made a thousand dollars, like $10,000, like just have checks coming in and people think, oh, you're an actor. You want to be a movie star, huh? And I'm like, I mean, yeah, I'd like to be in a movie, but I take the small dubs. I got casted in a play. I have an agent. I just had this audition. Like I'm constantly making forward momentum or just with my music i'm like oh yeah i did make i got this many views like i got people who listen to my stuff i have people messaging me who like my music like i did something with my music i'm not just another soundcloud rapper like and nothing against people on soundcloud because that's a step i'm there too like i've been there too where only i had soundcloud i and that's one thing i keep in my positivity bank there was a time all my music was only on soundcloud there was a time where none of my music was professionally mixed. There was a time where I didn't even have recordings of my music. So I just remind myself of the steps that I've taken through the years to get to where I need to be next. And I just let those be the building blocks that lead me into, all right, so I did do that and I did do that and I did do that. So what's next on the list? Because I can do that too. And by the end of it, I'm like, wait, why was I even sad? What was I thinking about before? I don't know. Cause I like this feeling so much better that got me hyped up than the one that had me sitting here feeling down. Um, keep a positivity bang. It could be something as simple as I like my outfit today, or I saved up a thousand dollars to do this, or I've had a good conversation repertoire with my mom for the last six months and we weren't close. Like it can be whatever you want. It's like, I did graduate from high school. I have my diploma. That means you can do anything that you put your mind to. It's the little things in life that add up to the big things. It's the small steps that you take that get you on a far journey. One step starts a trip of 10,000 miles. So take that first step and then be proud that you did it. Let that be your positive reminder. I woke up today and I got out of my bed and I went into the world. Like that can be your positive reminder. It's whatever it takes for you to remember that you are in control of your life and that you can succeed. So keep that in to account. Self-encouragement is key. Self-reflection is important, but don't let that self-reflection bring on self-doubt. Stay positive, keep an I can attitude.
Cause the world is yours, baby. If you take it. And I'm out here on the hunt. Lone Wolf out.